I'm making reactive targets. This is a poster board I got from Kmart right before it went out of business in Petaluma, California. But I also get these poster boards like at um, the dollar store, places like that, places that sell paper. And then I cut it up. I made two of them this size, and I made some littler ones. And what I do, I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I put packing tape on the, on the paper, and I'm going to spray it. But before I spray it, I'm going to staple it to uh, the back of a box, and I'm going to use the box as a target, and I'll put some cement on the bottom or a piece of wood to keep it in place. So I'm going to staple that down. I'll be right back. Okay, now i got it stapled down. I'm going to go set it uh, over where I can spray paint it now. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to spray paint this now. Um, do the edges first and work my way to the middle. So I can hit the edges. I learned to do the edges cleaning chicken coops. And then uh, work my way to the middle. Old Polish guy taught me that. It doesn't take a lot of paint. This is just cheap paint from... Uh, Walmart. I have a friend that uses flat paint and his turns out better. Now after I shoot holes in it, all I gotta do is go back with spray paint after I'm done shooting and spray over the holes and I can do that quite a few times. Here's one I already did. I usually do two to three sides uh, of, um, of the, I gotta turn the light back on. Hold on. I usually do two to three sides of a box if I'm using a box to hold the targets. So I got a target there, there, and there. So I got to spray these over again just a little bit. This is cheap paint, uh, 97 cents a can at Walmart. It's better to use flat paint. You don't have to put so much paint on. But anyways, just a light coating can work. There we go. Okay. That's it. And that's my reactive targets.